everybody! Today we're going to be making some frankincense soap and when I think of frankincense I generally think of the three wise men um, who brought the gold frankincense and myrrh to baby Jesus. But any, um, So in this soap there's frankincense, tears, and essential oil and the soap itself was very plain looking but when you add it in a design element I thought it just like made the soap uh, that much better. It went from boring to really, uh, well, I think pretty cool, and a lot of the customers liked it too. But I use this stamp here. Oop, upside down. I use this stamp and I loved it. And so I found the person who made this stamp was Jessica Syme of soaps, soap stamps, and stuff. And I'll put the link uh, to her Facebook page down below. But she's offering all of our viewers a $5 off. Um, using the code FIRST5. Uh, so you get $5 off your first order and she has all sorts of stamps. She doesn't just have like the three wise men. She has a lot of different choices. So we're giving you that opportunity and I thank her for um, being generous and doing that for us. So anyway, I hope you enjoy the video. Today we're gonna make some frankincense soap using frankincense tears. Um, if you can like, hear them, they're kind of crunchy and hard and firm. Um, they smell amazing. These I got from Star West Botanicals, they're organic. And so what I did was I took some, like um, three tablespoons of these and I ground them in my coffee grinder. I've been through so many coffee grinders, this is gonna be really tough on it, but it should be able to do it. And it ground it into a pretty fine powder, but there are still some chunks. You know, it's um, it didn't do a perfect job. Some people prefer to use a mortar and pestle, which I don't have, so I didn't use, obviously. And then I took that ground, um, the ground frankincense tears, and I've been infusing it in olive oil. I've just been letting it sit at room temperature, and uh, it smells amazing. It's really incredible. Now when it comes time to weigh the olive oil in my recipe of the, the frankincense oil, <clears throat> I don't want to just pump, d dump it in and weigh it because there, it's crunchy it, and in case like it didn't ground it completely into a fine powder, I don't want it to be scratchy or potentially scratch someone who uses the soap. So I'm going to be straining it. So I've got my strainer here that I use. And because some of these chunks could fit within these little strainer holes, I'm gonna use cheesecloth. I'm just gonna line this with cheesecloth. I always have cheesecloth on hand in my kitchen. So anyway, I'm gonna zero in the scale. And now I'm gonna weigh the olive oil that I need from my frankincense oil. Yeah, you can see there are chunks. And I'm just glad that that's not going to be like willy nilly in the soap. I've been waiting for a couple minutes, just waiting for this to set up a little bit. Because I'm get, uh, I have this little tool here that Chas from Wild Plantanica made. It's a soap scraper, and it's supposed to look like like mountains or something. So I'm gonna try to do a little bit of a, a mountain type scene. I just like drag. Okay. 
now I'm gonna get the next color ready and I'm thinking like a darker black because like the hills in the foreground or I, I, the background would be darker than the ones closer up. So let me go ahead and mix in. I'm gonna use charcoal for the black. For the second mountain layer, I'm going to use a different shape. So this was the first one, and then this is the second one. For the last layer, we're going to use a gray Brazilian clay. And I love this gray clay. I don't know if it's because gray is my favorite color. I'm boring like that, but it's just like a sparkly, nice shade of gray. And when I say sparkly, it's natural. It's from Rainforest Chica. It's not, there's nothing artificial in there. And now I'll pour. That was a close one. No, I almost dropped my my uh, spatula and my soap loaf. Yep. salt goes a long way. So I'm just going to sprinkle along the edge. I flattened out this side just a little bit. I just really like the off-centered look of the salt on the side versus the right on the top. Plus I think it sticks or stays a little bit better on the side because it's less apt to get like knocked off. It's kind of protected on a side on the, from the center side. The things you have to think of, right? Okay, so now I'm gonna stick this in my oven and we're gonna I'm going to gel it. And then I'll pick up my mess. You can see after it's been gelled, it's noticeably darker. So it's still hot, it's still sortly, sort of opaque from being in the oven. I just took it out, it was in the oven for about half an hour, but I'd only turn, I turned on the oven to 170 degrees and then once the oven hits 170 degrees, I turn it off right away. And then I just let the soap start to gel.
I wanted to show you the difference in the stamping between using saran wrap and no saran wrap. So this one, I use saran wrap and you can see it's a, a like a squishy, more muted stamp. And the one without the saran wrap gives it a crisper stamp. Just thought it was interesting. Okay guys, I'm gonna do something a little different than what we na normally do. But I have some biodegradable, like nat natural glitter, although technically. Anyway, it's this gold glitter, and I put just a teeny bit of that in this jar with a little bit of rubbing alcohol. This is 70% isopropyl, and I just uh, kind of mixed it together. And I have a little paintbrush, and what I'm going to do is... I'm gonna just put a little bit of gold right in the star. And what's great about the rubbing alcohol is that it dries really fast and you're left with just the, the golden glitter on the inside and there's no like rubbing alcohol scent or anything because it all evaporates. So I just, I'm just gonna dab a little. I mean, and this is just for festivity, for Christmas. You know, give that star a little sparkle. So that's, I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So let me see if I can do it closer here. I just kind of put my brush right in there and wiggle it just a little and it all kind of comes off the brush on its own. So, 